And locally, protesters voiced their dissent at the Portland International Airport. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling spoke with demonstrators about what drew them out there to take a stand. Around 200 people marched in and out of the terminal here at PDX throughout the day. Their message, no ban, no wall. Chants of dissent echoed near the ticket counters at PDX. I was pretty outraged. Many like Adam Mendola were drawn to this protest after seeing posts on social media. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we should treat people differently based on their religion. They're fighting against the executive order that these protesters call un-American. People are people. You can't take a whole group of people and ban them because of what some people have done. I not, have not been involved in a protest since I was in junior high school. This mom from Vancouver, Washington says her ancestry is from Eastern Europe. It was time for me to speak out and I couldn't be silent anymore. She lost family members during the Holocaust, so for her, this is personal. Very sensitive to both religious persecution and political persecution, and I just can't keep uh, doing nothing. Many are angry that people with valid visas were left stranded across the country without warning. Hogan also feels that Trump only chose to ban countries that wouldn't impact his business profits overseas. President Trump has business interests in three other Muslim countries, including Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia, where some of the terrorist concerns are um, located, and he left those out of the order. Also joining the march, those who feel that America shouldn't spend time and money constructing a border wall with Mexico either. I don't even, this world that we're in right now is just, I don't even understand it. Travel artist Jeremy Collins was flying from Portland to Kansas City after painting a building mural in support of recent protests. He feels displays like this are the new normal. And we're getting more comfortable, which I think is a good thing, of people expressing themselves publicly. And I think that's a good thing for everybody. I did talk to two passengers who said they voted for Donald Trump today. They said they were surprised at the turn of events. Meanwhile, most people I talked to said they were in support of the protesters. In Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.